Yo, what's good, Tech Squad? It's your boy back with another juicy episode, and this time we're diving deep into the Samsung saga surrounding their shiny new Exynos 2600 chip and the Galaxy S26 series. You asked for more details, so we're cranking this up from a quick snack to a full-on tech buffet, loaded with extra flavor, lineup rumors, and why this chip could be Samsung's ticket to the big leagues. If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell, and let's jump into this tech adventure like it's a roller coaster ride. Picture Samsung is your savvy friend who loves throwing epic parties but hates overspending. This year, they dropped a whopping $5.57 billion in just six months on Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips for the Galaxy S25 series. That's like buying gourmet cupcakes for every single guest when you could bake your own for half the price. Last year, they mixed it up with some homemade Exynos chips in the S24 series, which kept costs down. But going all in on Snapdragon for the S25, that's a 30% budget spike, and their wallet's screaming, chill, bro. Word on the street is the next Snapdragon chip's gonna be even pricier, like upgrading from a fancy coffee to a gold-plated espresso machine. So enter the Exynos 2600, Samsung's first 2NM chip cooked up in their own kitchen. It's like them saying, we're done paying for overpriced ingredients. Their smartphone crew, Samsung MX, wants to use this chip in at least some Galaxy S26 models to keep prices from skyrocketing. Nobody wants to pay an extra $100 for their next phone, right? It's like keeping your favorite pizza joint's prices steady so you can still grab a slice without breaking the bank. Plus, making their own chips lets Samsung play hardball with Qualcomm, negotiating better deals like a pro haggler at a flea market. That's reason number one why they're rooting for Exynos to shine. Reason number two? Samsung's chip factory, Samsung Foundry, needs a comeback story. They've been in a bit of a slump, like a band that hasn't dropped a banger in years, but they just landed a massive $16.5 billion deal to make two NM chips for Tesla's AI-powered cars. Think self-driving brains that need to be lightning fast. That's like getting booked to DJ for a superstar's world tour. If the Exynos 2600 kills it in the S26, it'll prove Samsung's ready to nail that Tesla gig and maybe even score contracts with giants like AMD, Nvidia, or even Qualcomm. One solid chip could turn Samsung from the underdog to the MVP, boosting profits for their phones and chip biz. Now, let's spill some fresh tea from August 2025. Samsung's OCO, Wanjon Choi, said they're still testing the Exynos 2600, like a chef perfecting a new recipe before the big dinner party. They're tossing it into prototype S26 phones, and with the launch expected around February 2026, they've got a few months to decide. It's like picking the perfect playlist for a road trip. You don't lock it in until it's fire. Rumors say their chip-making process is hitting decent yields, meaning they're getting more good chips per batch than they expected. Some leaks even hint at production ramping up for a late 2025 debut. Geekbench scores are looking spicy too, showing the Exynos 2600 could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Qualcomm and Apple's chips, like a scrappy boxer landing punches against the champs. But hold up, the S26 lineup might be getting a wild shakeup. Forget the basic S26 model, Samsung's reportedly going all in on premium vibes. We're talking an S26 Pro as the starter with a slick 6.27 inch screen, an S26 Edge replacing the Plus at 6.66 inches, and the Ultra Beast rocking a 6.89 inch display, a 200 megapixel camera, and maybe a souped up Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 for some markets. The Pro and Edge might get Exynos in certain regions to save costs, while the Ultra sticks with Snapdragon for max power. It's like Samsung swapping out the budget burger for gourmet sliders, with thinner, lighter designs that feel like they're ready to sprint a marathon. Let's get to the fun speculation zone. Could Exynos finally outshine Snapdragon? Older Exynos chips sometimes ran hot or drained batteries, like a car that guzzled gas on a short trip, but this 2NM tech could be a game changer, promising better efficiency and power. Imagine gaming on your S26 without it turning into a toaster, or AI features that edit your videos like you're a Hollywood pro, all without lag. Some fans dream of Samsung ditching Snapdragon entirely, but contracts might keep them tied for now. Oh, and they flirted with MediaTek's Dimensity chips, but dropped them after some call issues, like ghosting a bad Tinder match mid-date. Why should you care? If Samsung nails this, we get flagship phones that don't cost a fortune, smoother performance, and maybe even greener tech since in-house chips cut down on shipping. But if Exynos flops, we're back to pricey Snapdragons, possible delays, or inconsistent performance across regions, like getting a gourmet meal in one country and fast food in another. Fans are hyped but split. Some are rooting for Exynos Redemption arc, but others are ride or die for Snapdragon's proven vibes. 
And let's talk about what's at stake long term. A killer Exynos 2600 could spark a chip making revolution for Samsung, making their phones snappier, their AI smarter, and their prices kinder. It's like leveling up from a flip phone to a foldable in one go. Plus, if they impress Tesla, more tech giants might come knocking, turning Samsung Foundry into the go to spot for cutting edge chips. That means more innovation for all of us. Faster phones, better AI, maybe even cooler gadgets we haven't dreamed of yet. Whew, that was a wild ride, tech fam. What's your vibe? Team Exynos making a comeback or Team Snapdragon holding the crown? Drop your hot takes in the comments, smash that like button if you're pumped for the S26, and share this with your crew. Subscribe for more tech breakdowns because who knows, next time we might have official S26 details or even crazier leaks. Catch you in the next one. Peace out and keep geeking.